Yeah, this is the big question because, of course, in his visits to European capitals, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky was continually asking for this air power for the fighter jets, for long-range air defense systems. But I think it's unlikely we're going to get announcements about that today. Certainly that announcement wouldn't be coming from NATO itself. It would be coming from individual NATO countries. But both yesterday during his press conference and this morning coming in here to the NATO summit, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg was really playing down this idea. He was stressing the fact that those deliveries of aircraft wouldn't be coming for months. And he kept stressing that there's urgency here, that Russia is already starting its counteroffensive and they badly need the ammunition and the equipment that was already promised. So I think it was clear that Secretary General Stoltenberg views this jets issue as a bit of a distraction at the moment to the current very urgent issue. Uh, so we've just finished the U.S.-led Ukraine defense contact group that is led by Secretary Austin that you just heard from there. And shortly, the actual NATO defense uh, summit will begin. That will be chaired by Secretary General Stoltenberg. I think for his part, he's going to try to keep the talk of the jets really to the sidelines because he says there are really urgent issues that need to be dealt with right now. Yesterday, NATO uh, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Ukraine was going through ammunition faster than could be produced. Is that likely to change in the near term? Uh, it's not unless something really urgent is done. And that's really the urgency that Secretary General Stoltenberg is talking about here. The issue is that the NATO allies have given so much ammunition to Ukraine that they're running short of supplies at home. No one wants to put a precise figure on this, uh, but there are widespread reports that the NATO militaries are now so down on ammunition at home, they might not even have the resources to defend themselves if they were attacked, say, by Russia. Uh, so Stoltenberg wants to see a whole bunch of new contracts, defense contracts, signed today on the sidelines. He wants to see countries stepping up their military spending, but really just beyond vague spending commitments, he wants to see actual defense contracts signed for the delivery of equipment. Of course, we had countries like Germany announcing big pledges to increase military spending, but we actually haven't seen much from Germany since then. So Stoltenberg today and tomorrow is really going to be pushing that actual contracts get signed to make up for those missing, that missing ammunition, both at home and in terms of what they can supply Ukraine. Dave, thank you very much for that. Dave Keating reporting there for us from Brussels.